SEC officiating. So the Southeastern Conference is studying ways to communicate officiating better. Now, Nick Saban talked about it when he got on the podium at uh, the SEC uh, spring days, whatever it is, um, the spring meetings. And he came out and he, he said, here, I'll just read it straight from the article. Ross Dellinger has a good article at SI.com about it. Saban said, half the people don't even know the rule. With the difference between college and the NFL, I'm not certain what the rule is either. Uh, if we could find the right person to do that, an expert who nobody thought had bias, who could explain these things while they happen, I think it would go a long way in at least starting the chain of com- uh, communication. That's something I recommend. Uh, Herb Vincent said, we've got to do something differently. We can't keep doing what we've always done. And that's in regards to where they always say we don't comment on officiating. <coughs> I don't I don't think that's the right way to go about it either. So options are a retired official in the booth on SEC football games. So ESPN, CBS, whoever provide uh, an, uh, an expert, right? Like Kind of like you what you have in the NFL. When they throw a flag in the NFL, they talk about the play, and you go from there. Scott Word, uh, Woodward, LSU's athletic director, used to be Texas A&M's, said that the guys that are in the booth right now calling the games sometimes cause as much of a problem as the fans do because they don't actually know what the rule is, so they're spouting misinformation, and it becomes a huge to-do over something that could have been easily fixed. And the NFL has got this right. The NFL has got a guy in the booth that will come in and talk about you know, certain plays, certain calls. They also have a Twitter account, at NFL Officiating, which is controlled by the League's Operations Center in New York. It offers explanations for certain calls. Uh, this is all in an effort to educate the uh, sometimes misguided fan bases that last year, for example, LSU fan, uh, what's the guy's name? Uh, the, the huge LSU fan that was on game day, James Carville. He said that the SEC was in cahoots with Alabama. Well, rather than have that kind of stuff going overboard and the only thing you can say is we don't comment on officiating, actually provide a little bit of transparency. Provide what the rules are. Explain it to people, and it can alleviate some of that. The last thing that you want questioned is the integrity of your product This would go a long way in doing that. I like this idea. I think it's a good idea.